Hmm. All right. How does that rhyme go? Ah, that's right. Tying your shoes is easy if you take your time. Just loop, swoop, and pull, and then you'll be just fine. Tying your shoes is easy when you take your time. Just loop, swoop, and pull, and then you'll be just fine. Perfect. Oh, hi you all, how's it going? It's good to see you. Welcome back you all. You did a really great job yesterday. You looked and you listened to Lisa and Trinity. Our two puppet pals showed us different ways that you can be strong and respectful and tell someone about a problem. They're being very brave and very good problem solvers. Do you think you all could do what they did? Awesome. Today, you all are going to practice too. I'm going to give you some different problems, and then I want you all to think about the problem. I'm going to ask you some questions about it. So you're going to think about how you feel. You're going to think about what you can say to the other person. And you're going to think about what might happen if you don't follow this problem solving steps and you do something that's hurtful or mean or unsafe. Let's start at the beginning. It's a very good place to start. For the first problem, someone pushed you out of the way to get to the front of the hand washing line. First of all, is that a nice thing to do? No. Is that a safe thing to do? No. Pushing people isn't nice. Pushing people isn't safe. How does it make you feel when someone pushes you out of the way to get to the front of the hand washing line? Exactly. It doesn't feel good. It can make you feel angry, frustrated, it can make you feel sad and scared. It's not a good feeling being pushed. Now let's think about the steps. And so someone just pushed you out of the line. Now you have a problem. What should you do? You calm down. say stop you say the problem and then we try to figure out a solution one way that you can solve this is by talking to the person in a strong assertive way what is a strong respectful thing that you can tell that person Exactly. If someone does that to you, you can say, Hey, I don't like that. You just pushed me down and it hurt. Say sorry and let me get back in line. Now, do you see what I did there? I used a strong and respectful voice and I told them what the problem was. And I told them what I wanted and what I needed. Now, that's one way we can solve the problem. And that's a very good way we can solve the problem. Let's think about a bad way to solve the problem. Something we don't want to do. What might happen if you push that person back? Would that be a nice thing to do? It, it wouldn't. Remember, pushing isn't nice, no matter who's doing it. 
Would that be a safe thing to do? Exactly. It wouldn't be nice and it wouldn't be safe. It doesn't matter who's pushing. When you push, it isn't nice and it isn't safe. So, if you were to push that person, let's think for a second. You could really hurt them. You could hurt someone else who's standing next to them. You could break something in the class. And you know what? Even though something bad happened to you, now, because you push someone, you're going to get in trouble too. Ugh, that's just not good at all. So, let's think. It seems like some of your options are use your strong assertive voice and say the problem or push the person. Doing this lets you say what you want and you need and lets you work with the person to solve the problem. Doing this makes you hurt someone, makes you break things, and it might get you in trouble. I think this one is a really good option. Now, unfortunately, it's really sad, but sometimes things don't go the way we want them to, even when we're strong and assertive. Sometimes someone pushes us, and they don't say sorry, and they don't let us get back in line. What do we do then? Do you remember? Exactly. When someone keeps being mean and unsafe, even when we use our strong, respectful voice to tell them what we want and what we need, then the next step, find an adult. You can find your teacher, you can find another adult that you know and trust. Tell them what the problem is. Tell them what you tried to do to solve it. And tell them what happened afterwards. That adult will be able to help you solve the problem. It's what adults do. We really want you all to be able to solve problems on your own. Because we know that you're strong and you're smart and you can do it. But we also really want to help you all when you run into problems that are a little too big. So if someone keeps being mean to you, even when you try your hardest to solve the problem, you can find an adult. We'll help you. It's what we do. It's been great talking to you all about problem solving. Next week, we're going to move on to a new topic. We're going to talk about kindergarten. For right now, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care, you all. Bye.